Ciao everyone, it's Alyssa coming at you with another slow fashion video. This week I am talking about seasonless wardrobe essentials and I think these pieces get often a bad reputation because they're often in neutral colors and they're very basic and more functional versus glamorous but I have discovered that these seasonless pieces really do make the foundation of our wardrobe and can allow our closet to have just as much personality provided that we accessorize and play with our seasonal pieces along with them. So I thought I would share these essentials with you but also go a bit deeper into what I look for in terms of quality and different features that I find allow these pieces to be not only the workhorses of our wardrobe but also that allow them to last for a long time. This video is in collaboration with Organic Basics, who I absolutely love, both as a company for their sustainable and thoughtful business practices, and I found that their pieces are incredibly color fast, comfortable, and really reliable in terms of making me look and feel good. Everything is designed and constructed to last, which is essential for your wardrobe basics. I think it's important to understand why these basic garments are a true investment for your closet. In my opinion, the reason why basics warrant more of an investment is because they have to be so many things to me. They have to be versatile, not only so that they stand the test of time year over year, but so that they can be a solid canvas for me to add my accent pieces and seasonal items that really spice up my closet and my looks. They also have to be very well constructed and wash and wear easily. And they also have to be made out of a material that is easy to wear and comfortable and high quality. After having the opportunity to wear Organic Basics pieces for the past six months or so, I can definitely say that these are the items that are checking off a lot of this essential criteria on my list. Especially loving their use of recycled textiles and Tencel, which is created in a closed loop system. So it's got a very very minimal environmental impact. Lucky for us, Organic Basics has provided a discount code for 10% off. I will leave that code in the description box below. Everyone's list of essentials is going to be very different depending on their personal style, your lifestyle, and of course your climate. But these are the items that I find I gravitate to 99% of the year. The first is denim, which you likely will not be surprised to hear. <laughs> I wear jeans all year round, even in the summer, and there are several criteria which I like for my denim to meet. Number one is the type of fabric. I have over the years gone more towards jeans that have a very high percentage of cotton. Another indicator of quality in denim is looking for what's called selvage denim. And selvage is a tighter and heftier weave. It's made on old style looms, it's an older manufacturing process, so the denim is superior. You can identify a pair of selvage denim by flipping the cuff and looking at the outseam, and you'll see that the edges look almost bonded together, and this prevents them from unraveling. When it comes to denim fit, I truly think that whatever fit you feel the best in is the right one for you. However, there are so many styles out there that can really bring a different sense of personality to your outfit. So when I'm looking for the absolute baseline basic denim, I always look for something with a straight leg, not too skinny and not too wide. It has a little bit of a taper and this allows me to manipulate the hem, whether I want it rolled up or even if it just stays down, it's a pretty timeless, classic, and clean look. I think a mid to high rise is most flattering. The final piece of fit that I look at is the inseam. I think it really depends on what type of footwear you wear the most, and ensuring that it hits above that footwear. Whenever my denim hits right at the ankle, it really allows me to work with both boots in the winter and then flats and sandals in the summer. In terms of a very classic and timeless wash, I prefer a medium wash. I feel like this works through all seasons, as lighter denim tends to be a little bit more on the casual side, and darker denim can feel a little bit like a pair of trousers. I have loved long sleeve tees ever since I can remember. I love how you can just add a scarf or a necklace and they'll instantly pop. 
I've been wearing my Organic Basics white long sleeve tee for the past six months and it's been such a great piece for layering in the winter underneath sweaters and now I'm excited to pair it with shorts in the summer because I prefer to wear long sleeves in the summer and then something short on the bottom. So what I look for in these long sleeve tees, number one is fabric content. These Organic Basic ones are made out of 95% organic cotton, which means they're very soft and they breathe. This this is so important because the next point is all about fit. Because these are a prime layering piece in the winter, I find it's very important for these long sleeve tees to be fitted to the body. Not too tight so that they're uncomfortable and not too loose so that they're bulky. These are really the perfect fit for layering and for wearing on their own. And now that I've acquired the black one, I feel as though my little long sleeve tee collection is complete. Next on my list are blazers, and this might seem a little bit odd for a seasonless choice, but I find I wear blazers both in the winter as a nice way to keep warm, but in the summer I'll find myself wearing blazers as a coat or a jacket. Much like denim, there are so many options for blazers on the market, and really the silhouette that works best is going to be the one that flatters you and works for your lifestyle and personal style. The absolute must-haves for a timeless blazer are shoulder fit. I recently read a great tip when testing the fit of the shoulders and it's called the wall test. So when you're trying on a blazer you stand next to the wall and you press yourself into the wall and if the shoulder of the blazer scrunches up then that means it's too big. If you lean up against the wall and your bicep and your arm hits the wall before the blazer that means it's too small. Technically your arm and the edge of the blazer should touch the wall at the same time. I thought this was brilliant because sometimes it's hard to to tell just by looking at it. And wrist length makes a big difference as well. The hem of the blazer should just cover your wrist. Tailoring in a blazer is so important. That tailoring is what gives blazers a very chic and polished aesthetic. Boyfriend blazers are great, but if you're really building the foundation, I think a tailored blazer is so classic. Look for a blazer that has a little vent at the back or even perhaps two vents. This allows for more comfortable movement given that it's tailored a little bit more around your body. In general, I stay away from embellishments in my classic blazers, so I try to avoid things like puffed sleeves, additional hardware, pockets in places that don't really make sense, and colors that are way too trendy. A blazer that is fully lined is also a hallmark of excellent quality, however you can find blazers that have linings through the arms and along the back in the more mid-market price range. I surprised myself by putting this on my seasonless list because at least where I am in Canada, there's no way I'm gonna wander around in a sleeveless top in the middle of January. However, much like the long sleeve tee, I found myself gravitating towards my Organic Basics camisole in the winter when wearing it again under sweaters or cardigans as a little extra layer. So my criteria for camisoles all year round are very similar to my long sleeve tee criteria. They have to be in a fabric that has a little bit of stretch but that is mostly comfortable and breathable because the fit is tighter on the body. I also look for a neckline that is flattering on me. A higher neckline means that this isn't a discreet item and it makes a little bit more of a statement. So I like the neckline that is a little bit more scooped and I find this to be more flattering as well. It really elongates the neck. My Organic Basics tank top is made out of Tencel and you can really feel the difference of a natural fiber versus a synthetic in how it wears, how it feels, and even how it drapes and fits on the body. Trousers made my seasonless list because, much like my denim, I do wear trousers in the summer as well. For some of you who are in warmer climates or have a more glam sense of style, perhaps a skirt would replace the trousers for you. But again, the longevity of my trousers is really determined by what they're made of and how they fit. Even though summer gets very hot, I still look for a lighter wool or a wool blend that isn't lined so that I can wear these pants 
all year round. In the winter, I can throw a pair of tights underneath. In the summer, I can wear it with a nice sandal. Much like my denim, I look for a mid to high rise because I believe those are the most flattering variations of a pant rise. And I definitely look for a straight leg. Nothing that is hugging my legs or looking too snug because you really lose that beautiful easy elegance of a trouser if they're too tight. Much like my other basics, I like to have a pair of trousers in both a dark and a light neutral to really span the whole year round. However, if you're looking for one color, I would recommend navy because this pairs beautifully with lighter blush tones and pinks or even yellows throughout the summer months. And then in the winter, you can transition navy so easily with darker grays or even black, which is very chic. Finally, I included a dress in my list of seasonless essentials. Every now and then, I do want to depart from my love of separates, and I think it's really important to have a dress that can be worn all year round. I find some dress silhouettes are better suited to being seasonless than others, and those silhouettes are wrap dresses, as well as shift or sheath dresses. I also think, depending on the fabric, a shirt dress like the one I'm wearing can also be very seasonless. You just have to make sure that the fabric is something with good weight, like this tensile dress that I'm wearing. However, heavier silks work beautifully all year round, and of course, a lighter, more flexible wool is another great option. In terms of signs of quality, it's really important to flip the garment inside out, and in fact, this goes for all garments, ensuring that stitching is straight and tight, and that seams are finished, at least with a serger, so that way they won't unravel or fray. Other hallmarks include making sure that there aren't any threads or anything sticking out. This is a prime example of work that was done very quickly and that not a lot of attention was paid to this. The same applies when it comes to hardware like buttons or zippers. These should be solid, have a little bit of weight to them, and not have too many embellishments so as to reference a certain trend or a certain time. There you have it, those are my seasonless essentials, and I hope you enjoyed it! Don't forget there's a discount code from Organic Basics which I will link below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful week ahead, stay safe and well, and I will be back next week with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao!